You come in vast and beautiful wilderness, whether you choose to access our backcountry with the backpack or just hiking off the few roads that we have. Or you can use pack animals to get into the backcountry. Travel our many rivers with a river boat. Or fly into our many lakes with a float plane. In the far north you're going to find doll sheep in the Richardson Mountains. Along with a summer range of the barren ground caribou, the porcupine caribou herd. October and November you'll find them along the Dempster Highway as they're moving south to the winter range in the Ogilvy Mountains. To the east, in the Renneke Mountains, there's doll sheep, along with the mountain caribou, the bonnet plume caribou herd. But doll sheep are the most numerous in the southern coastal mountains, along with the mountain caribou, the ibex caribou herd. In the central Yukon, there's stone sheep, along with the mountain caribou, the Phyllison caribou herd. The challenge is calling the giant moose of the far north up close and personal. Or just any moose. Throughout the Yukon there's black bears and grizzly bears. The east and the south there's mountain goat and a growing herd in the south central Yukon of bison. A small and sable herd of elk. In the alpine you can find ptarmigan and spruce grouse in the spruce forests and lower elevations. If you enjoy fishing, there's grayling fishing throughout, pike fishing in the crystal clear waters anywhere. Try the challenge of pulling a giant lake trout over deeper and larger lakes throughout the Yukon. If you're anxious in the spring to get out and enjoy the campfire, you might find some cow moose having their calves or ewes having their lambs. Or maybe you'll catch the returning of the swans in the coming of the spring. Summertime there's cow moose tending to their calves or young bulls fattening up for the fall rut. Or you might just enjoy hiking the high country. The next time we're enjoying your harvest, please remember somebody has to protect the wildlife and the access to it. If you won't, who will? Remember when you're packing out your harvest next time, somebody has to protect the wildlife and access to it. If we don't, it won't be long. All we'll be able to do is sit and wall watch the wildlife as it walks over the next hill. So please come and join the Yukon Fishing Game Association and help protect the wildlife and access to it now.